What would you do if you woke up and you were just a prisoner in a castle? You just woke up in a prison cell. Well, that's what happens in this game today. Today we are playing West Witch Castle, which is by the developer Jamezel. I'm definitely butchering that and I'm so sorry. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but this developer has made the game Entity Room and Missing Hiker, which I've also played on the channel. And I'm a big fan of those two games. So I'm excited for this one. I don't want to talk too much. Let's just jump right in. My head hurts. I feel like someone has bashed my head in. I need to get out of here. All right, pretty simple concept. Uh, we may have been captured or something. Someone beat us over the head and we need to escape. Wow, I'm loving the graphics of this already. Um, is this door open? No. Okay, so we got to find another way out. How do we get out? Oh, hold up. Wait a minute. You know, before putting someone in a prison cell, you should really make sure that there's no like secret escape route. Well, light would be very nice right now, though. I'm not going to lie. Is this just, oh, that just lets out into the hallway. Okay. Are there any other prisoners? Hello? Nope. It's just me, apparently. Oh, there's a light right there. I see it blinking. Thank you. Why does it sound like I'm turning a flashlight on? Oh, is that a candle? Does that mean I'm going to run out of light? All right, we're gonna have to stock up on these then. This castle looks abandoned. I mean, I haven't heard anybody yet or seen anybody unless everyone's asleep. We can open chests too. Okay, we got a lot of, we got a lot of uh, lights so far. Is there anything down here before I go up? Oh, I could use it to light some of the, oh, okay. Something on the table down here. Uh, can I turn a light on down here? That that would be very nice, I feel like. What does the hammer do? Can I hit people with that? What is this? This looks like um an Iron Maiden? Oh, I think that is an Iron Maiden. Yeah, with the spikes when they put you in there and then they just close it. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna leave. Hold up. What's with this lock over here? I feel like I probably shouldn't have done that. I'm going to explore the other rooms first before I go there. Make sure I got enough uh, candles and everything. Yeah, we'll light all of these rooms. Yeah, look, we got another one here. Like that. I'm waiting for something to jump out of one of these. All right, through the mysterious locked door we go. Hello? It was locked from the outside. It's just another part of the castle. Oh, hold up. Maybe I can create the perfect servant. A servant who is obedient and always does what he is told. A servant who does not put his own needs before those of his master. I found an old book that describes such a procedure. First, a hole must be drilled in the skull. Then, very slowly, acid must be instilled through this hole. Wasn't my head hurting? There's no way. There's no way. There's no way this guy drilled a hole into my skull. He must have just hit me over the head when he captured me, right? At least that's what I'm hoping. Wow, dude, the design is so nice. What's up with these knights? Please don't tell me you guys move. 
Okay, you don't. Can I take that out of your hands? I feel like that'd be a very good weapon. Door's locked. Is this one locked? This door is locked. This is giving front entrance vibes. Can I just walk out? Oh, no. I need all the levers. I need four more levers? What kind of security system is this that you need four levers to open one door? I guess I'll go this way first. Come on, there's got to be some type of weapon I can grab, right? Why have I still not seen this guy yet? Okay, we got one lever so far. There are four rooms in total, so I'm guessing one lever per room. Okay. Oh, it opened this door. It's a little dark in here. Nothing in there. Hello? Like, I don't even know what type of horror to expect here right now. Like, is a person gonna chase after me? Is a monster gonna chase after me? I'm really walking into this blind. Dude, the lighting though. Can I eat something? I feel like I'm, I'm, I gotta be hungry. <laughs> no way he was feeding me. I don't see, oh, there's something blinking over there. We got a chest here. Another little candle. Another candle. A knife? Would probably be smart to pick up. All right, there's gotta be a lever down this hall. This castle's huge. Oh no, we're getting to bedrooms. If whoever kidnapped me is sleeping, I might find him soon. A lever and another note. Most experiments go wrong. The procedure is too complicated. The prisoners either die immediately or they survive but cannot do the simplest work afterwards. Some survive a few days and then die of infection. I have to find a better way to clean the instruments. That sounds... Hello? What is that? What is it? Was that a zombie? I didn't even get a good look at it. It just killed me. All right, it only spawned once I picked up that note. What's over here? Another bedroom? Nothing. Okay, another candle. I will take that. Okay, so this guy, whoever owns this castle, was experimenting, and it seems like that they, they just kept not working. I mean, listen, drilling a hole through people's skulls and then pouring acid in it probably wouldn't work. Okay. Okay, just grab the lever and go. Okay, that's how I picked up the note and nothing happened. I think that might have been like a zombie or something though. My guess is whatever the acid is that he's using, it like turns these prisoners into just zombies. Okay, now the door down here is open. Got another candle. Whoa, okay. This is a very nice room. Oh, it's like a church. Oh, wow. No note here. I'm surprised. Anything back here? Oh, I see a lever and another note. All right, here we go. We'll grab the lever first and then the note. People in the nearest village are already telling each other rumors that I had something to do with the disappearances. I told my men to leave the village alone for the time being and to look elsewhere. All right, so clearly he has something to do with the disappearances. 
Definitely not a coincidence. Light up these rooms a little bit, buddy. Damn. I think you guys should really consider electricity. I don't know if that's been a thing yet, but <laughs> should definitely look into it. How have I still not found the person that lives here, man? Where is this guy's bedroom? And the way he was talking, he has like some sort of soldiers or something. I'm surprised that I haven't seen any of those either. Unless he really experimented on every single one of them. I'm expecting this lever to open that door. And then once we get that last lever, we'll be home free. I'm hoping. Whoever this message reaches, do not go down to the wine cellar. It is not safe there. A failed experiment is wreaking havoc there. Let me guess where this goes. <laughs> to the wine cellar? Thanks for the warning at least. I appreciate that much. Hello? Gotta find a candle along the wall. I don't see anything. I don't hear anything either. Okay, never mind. I lied. I think it's right through that doorway. Yep, yep, yep. I hear it. Is it just one? I definitely hear it down there. Hey, buddy. Okay, it sees me. It sees me. It sees me. Running, 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 running. Oh, you're a little slow. I take that back. I totally lied. You are not that slow. You are not that slow. I'm sorry. I lied. I lied. I lied. I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. Please. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Maybe I can find the lever. Get away fast enough. Maybe. Or just run into you. That works too. Now I just don't even see it. It just despawns after it dies. I mean, that's like nicer for me that it that, that it despawns after I die. But at the same time, that's a little boring. It also makes me wonder. I don't think the one that was upstairs was supposed to be there. I feel like only that one was supposed to be down here and that was it. It doesn't really make sense for that one to be upstairs if you gave a warning for down here, you know. All right, here we go. Last lever. Oh my god, we're not even out yet. I really thought that was going to be it. Okay, this is a bit longer than I expected. Oh, hold up. We got a long, creepy corridor now. I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing any notes or anything. Oh, what's this? This is very weird. Oh, I need a wheel to drop that one down. Gotcha. Okay, so we got to find a wheel or a valve. Candle. Oh, hello there. Oh my God, you are missing your lower half. What could he have possibly done with that? Okay, there's gotta be a candle in here, right? Yeah. Light this room up, I'm a little creeped out. This poor guy, man. 
What did he do to anybody? <sighs> no, 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 no. I don't want to go deeper in the castle. I was going to say, I don't want to go to the dungeon or anything, but I feel like we kind of already were in the dungeon. <laughs> we were in a prisoner area. All right, but now nah, this is kind of deep. Just went down like five flights of stairs. Oh, I hear another one. Okay. All right. I feel like you can't even run that fast. I don't know. For this game, I honestly, I love the level design of everything. Like just how everything looks, how it's laid out, how you need to find the levers and stuff. But the actual thing that's chasing you just doesn't, doesn't really scare me. I feel like the noises are kind of goofy. And I'm not a fan of how the screen gets like super blurry when you're getting chased. I feel like it would have been better if they were just like jump scares, to be honest. Like around corners and stuff. Or like say it like runs across in front of you. Like, now I know there's nothing down here because it killed me already. So, it just despawns. Okay, I got the wheel. Awesome. Alright, so now we put this valve on here to drop the bridge. Bam. Now, is this the exit of the castle? No. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Another big room. I mean, I'm happy that the castle is huge. I'd rather the game go on longer than end so quickly. All right, I got nine. Ooh. All right, that time you didn't even make a noise. Let's see, does it just chase me forever or can I outrun it maybe? Honestly, I kind of prefer it just kill me because then I know it won't be there when I'm back and I could take my time to explore. Like, I am genuinely interested in the concept. Like, we were a prisoner that was going to be, you know, experimented on, but now we're trying to escape. Like, I want to know everything that's going on with this. I don't really see any notes or anything over here. All right, is this the exit? I almost want to like look at someone else's playthrough because I feel like I kind of missed something there. I don't know. I'm actually kind of disappointed a little bit. I'm not going to lie. This is by the same developer that made Driving Home, Missing Hiker, Entity Room, and I really liked all of those games. I think something that makes all those games similar is that it was a very creepy atmosphere and then really there was just one big jump scare at the end when you weren't really expecting it. And this game's sort of similar like the whole vibe of the castle is very creepy the castle is amazing i love the design and the layout and everything it looks sick but the concept of like these zombie prisoners kind of just like walking around aimlessly and then when they see you they get you and then they just despawn i don't know i didn't really like the effect when they were chasing me either i don't know and there really just wasn't that many scare factors like it's like once you die and then they despawn it's like all right i know not to be scared anymore because whatever was in this area is now gone i think what would have made the game better is like i said during the gameplay like if something i don't know ran across the doorway before you walked in a room or maybe some like scary sound effects or something like coming from behind you like stuff to just creep you out to keep you on edge and i feel like there wasn't even really a conclusion to that story or anything unless i missed a note which is totally possible and again i'm sorry if i did i don't think i did i feel like i explored all the rooms but it was kind of like all right we knew that whoever was owning this castle was like taking people from the village and then drilling holes into their heads and trying to turn them into like zombie servants we know that the village was kind of like sketched out about it so they stopped taking people from the village and started taking people from elsewhere but then we don't hear anything about what happened to the castle castle owner or maybe his other men that were in the castle I guess you could assume they died because the castle is kind of like abandoned now but also it can't really be fully abandoned because we were locked in a prison cell so someone must have put us there kind of recently right if we're alive at the beginning it does say like our head hurts 
so i do think that's to make us kind of think like are we actually one of the zombies maybe that like worked out that the experiment went well on but let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below did you like it did you not is there anything that you think it could have used to improve if you did enjoy this video don't forget to drop a like on it and if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe we're trying to hit 300k before the end of the year all right guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one peace